Hey guys, I am here with Michelle Powell. Hello, Michelle. Hello. Michelle is a graduate of CCL. She joined with us back in the summer of last year, right? Was it, was it summer? Um, maybe it was, it was more like late fall. Was it late fall? Actually, actually you're right. I was a way to start selling to November. So uh, you I guess started it's selling in November. November. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Your time, I think, with the course. And then so you officially became mm -hmm. a seller in November. So we're recording this in January. So you're like about a month and a half into like, mm -hmm. like experience. Yes. Yeah. Sit yes. down with you and just kind of see how everything's going and how the whole experience with CCL went into and how you're enjoying content creation. Yes. I want to ask well, you. It's going good. It's going good. Good. Mm -hmm. I want to check in and just see. We're going to start back at the very beginning. So what okay. really was like the problem that you were facing when you joined the program? Like where were you kind of, where were you at in your situation and what mm -hmm. drew you to a program like CCL? Yeah. So I was um, into like fitness and nutrition. And so what I was doing for a while, and then I wanted to uh, kind of pivot to do more nutrition. So I started to doing monthly cookbooks for my clients where I was photographing recipes specific just for them. I wasn't doing it for blogging. And then I was doing about 24 recipes a month for them. And it felt like it was just, it was getting to be a lot. And so I pivoted to where I was doing a little bit less, um, which is fine. But even after a year, I was trying to figure out like what to do instead of doing this because it was yes. being, it was a lot of work every single month doing that amount of recipes, a lot of work. writing the cookbooks, submitting it every single month. And I wasn't charging like a lot for it. And it's just so, you doing all of that. And it's just me. So yeah. Okay. And it's just me. Yeah. So it isn't like I have anyone else creating any of it for me. I was like photographing it, editing it, uploading it, creating it, submitting it, like all that stuff on a regular basis. So yeah, it was beginning to be too much. And then so I, um, after a year, came across a podcast that you were on and where you talked about, where you talked about, you know, photographing like photography for yeah, bloggers. My whole experience, yes. Yeah, and I had never even like knew people could do that. I had never even heard of that before, ever. Well, like I remember seeing what? food bloggers. People have it. It's like, I probably, mm -hmm. I started as a generalist. I was just a general VA. And if my mm -hmm. sister, if my, my sister was a blogger at the time and mm -hmm. she kind of introduced me to the idea. Otherwise I wouldn't have known that was a thing. Yeah. It's, we're so behind the scenes. Like people don't mm -hmm. even know like that's like something you can do. Yeah. Well, even like VA, cause like even prior to like hearing your podcast, I think I was Googling something like at home jobs or at home, like something like in that realm that I was already doing. Yes. And so I had her, I came across VA and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. I was like, maybe I could do something like that. And then I was trying to look up like how someone even does that. And I'm like, I, it just seems like there's so much information. Like, I don't even know. I don't even know where to start. Yeah. And so like when I came across your podcast and was listening to what you were doing and I was like, what? Like, mind blown that people actually do this and like bloggers are looking for that they're buying that like, I remember I would see like food bloggers and like dang they have so much content like how are they oh yeah I mean, with all this stuff and then like here and they're like oh actually they have help major most of them have help yes and on this side I was like I was like oh my god I'm doing all that already for the last year which is kind of a blessing though because like I got a full year of experience of just yes. photographing on my own, using an iPhone, figuring out how to edit photos and like uploading it that way on my own. That like going into like your course, I feel like kind of had like a leg up in the sense of like, okay, I totally. have an idea of how to photograph food. Uh, at least familiar from, with it. Yeah. yeah, familiar with it. That way it didn't just, wasn't this like whole new world that I hadn't even experienced before, at least on the food side. I mean, the other side of it, it was like a whole new world trying or to figure out and all of yeah, that. how to be in contact with bloggers and things like that. I know. I remember when you reached out to me and I heard about what you were doing with live well, serve well, it's your business, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And I was thinking, I'm like, okay, this is like the perfect thing for you because you can really kind of marry the two. Like you mm -hmm. can create content for your other business and then be selling mm -hmm. to bloggers too. And that's right. a cool thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure it's helping you with what you're learning with selling to bloggers. I'm sure it's helping you with your other business as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like 
the way like we're able to get in contact with bloggers and like figuring out what their needs are and and kind of looking figure out like, how they're even growing their own blog and their website whatever and I was like oh okay like that's how they're doing it like now it makes more sense how kind of how I can apply that same thing to like my website already yeah. with um my blog so Cool. That's been really cool. Yeah. Well, what made you choose the content creator lab then, or just content creation over mm -hmm. anything else? Yeah. Um, I think well, content creation, like, well, look, like, one, I was already doing it, but two, I wanted to be able to still stay home, like, with my kids yeah. and like homeschool and stuff. Home. You've got two yeah. kiddos, right? Three kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I didn't want to have to, like, change that I wanted to like this was our lifestyle and I wanted whatever I was doing to fit that flexibility get that mm -hmm. yeah that and nice so, with, with blogging it's like you mm -hmm. can like not have to book clients like you can with like right. girl virtual assistants where you go through the whole yeah. process like we can just mm -hmm. like create and sell at our own pace and yes. it's no pressure mm -hmm. which I love that having two kids too it's just yeah. like it's so nice yeah. Well, then I feel like the no pressure thing is actually super helpful. Like, I mean, there, I feel that the pressure like while I'm photographing just because I want it to be a certain way. Yes. But as far as like there being like deadlines or like no a deadline. deadline right. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, okay, no, like I get to choose what right. the deadline is going to be where it's more on my terms or and not on like someone else's terms, which is super helpful because then it doesn't feel like I'm trying to figure like, okay, there's a level of sacrifice with everything, but I'm like, my yes. family is my priority. And like, that's my priority where this is like, this is super fun and I can make money doing this, but I can do it on my terms. It's not like someone's expecting a certain time frame for me. Exactly. Um, so that's one of the good components of it that I, yeah. I like. Did you have any concerns initially when you first started mm -hmm. looking into joining the program or any fears? Mm -hmm. And if you did, like what really put that to rest? Yeah. Um, I, my biggest thing was I figured out how I was going to find bloggers. Oh, okay. Like I was like, I don't, how do you find people? Like, I don't even know how you're going to find people. Cause I had never heard of how, the way how we're, how we're doing it, that that was even a thing. Yeah. So I was like, how do you find people? It's and so like easier than you would have thought, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I also was like, what if it's like there's like there's isn't there like other people doing this like is like a number of people doing this i wouldn't it be saturated like i wouldn't sell anything um and That's that wasn't a concern a lot of people have when they first start mm -hmm. uh, expressing interest to me and it's yeah. like who is somebody who, are, who is doing it now it's like you can see there's like thousands of bloggers mm -hmm. and most of them don't buy from just one person they're buying from like dozens of people yeah. so it's like there's more than enough to go around. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bloggers. Yeah. There's so many bloggers. Yeah. And then also like, um, I think one of, hi, <laughs> you can see you. Can you go that way, please? Okay, so we're going to show everybody. Yay. Um, <laughs> um, what were you saying? Part of the interview. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what was I going to say? We were talking about our concerns, Basically, right? Like your fears and you were saying it yeah. was just about like a whole client experience, like connecting with clients. Yeah. Like connecting with clients. Yeah. I've been sad, like being saturated with like too many photographers that like this one, yeah. they would go into like the space and like never get seen or whatever. Yes. Um, but then I really, yeah, I, what I realized like after like learning about how to connect the bloggers and even putting your stuff out there. Cause I was really nervous, even like after I knew how to do it, to like send it out, like yeah. <laughs> make it available for somebody to purchase. Like I was like, I was like literally like not even posting and I'm like, what if no one buys it? Like what if no one does like, what if no one likes it? And so like, that was, I was pretty hesitant about doing that. And, and which probably took me forever to sell. Cause I was like, so like, like not posting my stuff. And so once I did and like got over like that fear of no one buying it <laughs> and like having like that first purchase, I was like, oh, oh wow, like somebody, somebody wants to buy this. And this. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 And, the, and then you just build that confidence up after that to keep like 
you know, photographing stuff and editing and making it available. Everybody feels that initially because it's Mm -hmm. such a vulnerable thing putting your work Mm -hmm. out there for other people Mm -hmm. and yeah, you know, and you're doing something brand new you've never done. Mm -hmm. Learning the whole process, but yeah, once you get that first sale, it's like Mm -hmm. totally motivating, and then you start momentum, and then you really get into it. It's like not a big deal at all. No, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the cool thing is too, and this is something I like to tell people who are joining is like, you know, with everything else, like you go for an interview or you have a discovery call and you know, you're going to get questions about your experience and stuff. And it's not like this mm-hmm. with, with what we do. It's like, you're literally just creating, you're putting your packages out. And if a blogger wants a package, they're going to buy, they're not asking you like right. personal questions about right. I'm sure. You have enough experience to do right. it. It's like, they're exactly I'm like, okay, I'm looking at your content. Is this something that I can use? So I'm just going to buy it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like we're always our our own worst critics too. Cause I feel like there's been like, I've had sets where like throughout the set, like come some sets, I'm like, no one's going to buy that. set. like, that was my, no one's going to buy that one. And then like someone buys it and I'm like, okay, you just don't know. Like what I think, yeah, what I think is going to sell and what actually does sell. Sometimes it's so different than what I people think people are going to look for. Exactly. Or I feel like, like the setup of it wasn't like as good as the other sets that I made. And like that yes. one sells. And I'm like, people just have a different vision, than that, you, know, different, you know, different style, different needs and, and different mm-hmm. things that they're looking for and different yeah. styles. Mm-hmm. So. Right. Exactly. So it's like, you just never, you never know what's because you don't, you, maybe you won't like it that someone else. Right. Will actually see. And like, that's exactly what they're looking for. Exactly. Yeah. So you started officially selling in November. Have you mm-hmm. made your program investment back yet? I haven't even asked you that question. Um, yeah, I will have, we'll probably make it back this month. Okay. I'm not far off from it. So like Very I have cool. a few hundred dollars left to, to get to that point, but um, yeah, I should be able to make it this month with the set that I have to sell. And you're working part-time, right? You're working part-time. Yeah, I'm not even like, doing it like full go. Cause okay. I was like, and I wasn't even tracking it. it. Yeah, I wasn't even tracking it. Like, cause I've only had um like five recipes okay that I've done five packages so far so let me like five packages and it wasn't like even some of them have all sold out and some of a few that I haven't sold out okay. and then um and then also doing like exclusive stuff for bloggers yeah um yeah, so it isn't like it's been that. like so that's yeah. really cool so you're mm-hmm. starting to get requests then for specific projects from bloggers yeah so mm-hmm. a whole nother way to make money as a yes which is, really which cool. is it's awesome because like you like we had talked about before like the the fact that like someone wants you to do exclusive work for them it's such a compliment like, oh, isn't it it is i was like oh such wow. a new seller so it's like that mm-hmm. just feels good yeah yeah exactly so it's like it's encouraging it's motivating to know that like okay they people are liking what i'm doing and it they like it for like their own business because it benefits me but it also benefits it's a big benefit for them that they have you know like these beautiful photos for their websites to bring in people so that's a win-win for both of them you're you're managing like going out and getting the supplies you're doing Mm -hmm. all the work for them and they can skip Mm -hmm. the whole process and a lot of them really enjoy doing the photography or their Mm -hmm. photography isn't like super great yet so they a lot of them hire all of it out Mm -hmm. yeah that's what i have found with especially these exclusive ones like figuring out what exactly they want if they just want photography or if they want like you to do the full on like you search the recipe you come up with the ingredients you come up with like every detail for yes. them um and like that's been like a learning curve to figuring out what exactly they're looking for um and then even on my end like which one of the things I thought was great about the course was that you gave it an, a way to like search recipes oh, yeah search for um, that are mm-hmm going to be things that will rank well for, for bloggers right. that's definitely yeah. something they consider mm-hmm. which are even I, those sites I never even heard of before oh okay. so it's like oh wow yeah. you can search all this stuff yeah yeah and so it's really interesting research. once you get into mm-hmm. I like doing the research part of it yeah oh yeah yeah I also love Pinterest and I love coming mm-hmm. up with like my own fun like creative things for holidays Christmas yeah. time and Valentine's I get so yeah. into yeah yeah oh it's fun like I super like I'm a creative person in that sense as well so like being able to just like manipulate it all and like 
buy all this like fun, <laughs> fun yes. like holiday decor and like use it in your photography. It's just like, it's really fun. So fun. Yeah. You know, sometimes I'll be shooting projects. And I'm like, how am I getting paid to do this? I'm getting mm -hmm. paid well to do this. It's like, yeah. Uh oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Looks like I've got a timer going. Okay. So I'm going to get back to my questions. <laughs> Zoom's telling me I have a timer. Okay. So what results as a whole have you gotten then from mm -hmm. the program right? or just from doing content creation in general? You've kind of touched on that pretty much. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, so you don't have anything else to add. We can move on. But if you have something to add. Um, I don't think so. I mean, I've, I mean, I've sold most of my sets. Yeah. Um, I'm almost at the, I'm making like a full investment back on You're the doing course. Awesome. Yeah. So it's been going really good. I remember your, um, so with CCL, for those who don't know, we do package reviews in one of the tiers. If you sign up, you can get package reviews. And I remember your last package review you sent me with the deer glasses. I was just like, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. I even told my husband, I was like, look at her pictures. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I love that. I know I found those at Marshall's and I was like shopping there and I was like, oh, I have to get these. It'd be so cute. I want to get those. Those are like <laughs> beautiful. Thank you. How do you see this new business and this new income stream um, just impacting your life in the mm -hmm. future going forward? Oh, yeah. I think it's going to help like with my husband not having to pick up any overtime at work. Okay. So we can just spend more time as a family. I think it's going to awesome. allow us well, I know it's going to allow us to like save up for if we need like a new vehicle or trips you want to take for the family or just anything. We're really big into budgeting. So mm -hmm. like, yeah, I think that's going to help us like with vacations or Absolutely. like the vehicles or overtime, things like that. Um, as far as like the financial side, I think that's going to be really helpful. Yes, definitely. I love that too. It's like you can kind of ramp up your efforts with creating mm -hmm. if you have a vacation or something you want to plan, you need more money mm -hmm. that month. It's like you can just right. create more content packages and right. you have that ability. You're not like stuck at one income. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what aspect of CCL did you benefit from or enjoy the most? Mm -hmm. um, one thing that I liked was the one where you had, uh, like you showed like actually taking photos oh yeah the tutorial, the tutorial like the walkthrough basically yeah yeah that yeah. was so helpful because I'm a kind of I'm a visual person so Me being too. able to see like how you set it all up how up. you're actually taking out backgrounds and like yes. reformatting it all I was like oh okay that's how they're doing it yeah uh, and then showing like how like what the before and after looked like from when you photographed it to how the photos came out the photos and, actually like, yeah and like how you're setting up all your packages um that was super helpful and then also your downloads as far as like okay like especially like the yearly download of what to focus on for every single month oh okay so the um content calendar yeah the content calendar oh, okay. yes yeah. I know I I love that too because it's like each mm -hmm. month you're kind of focusing on something different it keeps you on right, track yeah Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Keeps you on track. So that way you like, and I always forget like the holidays that are coming up every single month. So yes. like to have like a, just like a birthday view of what's going on. I'm like, oh, okay. Like that's what's coming so up. So far yeah. in advance too, like knowing mm -hmm. what to sell when yeah. I can. Yeah. 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 I like that. And you were very specific with everything, which was nice. So it's like, everything's very specific to the point. And you're like, okay, I gotta do that. I gotta do that. I, okay, cool. <laughs> That's how I learn best. I get so easily distracted. So if, if I'm mm -hmm. trying to learn something and there's like a lot of fluff to it, I start to like, want to do something else. So I'm like, yeah. I know like a lot of my students are moms. Like a lot of them are working other jobs. I'm like, I, I want to just get to the point so you can learn Good what you point. need to, to know. And I want you to start selling like as quickly as yeah. possible and start making that money. Cause that's, yeah. you know, that's the goal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So have you purchased other courses in the past or is this the first one um I purchased and I mean this is the first one as far as like content I guess for like food photography like that area right. I have bought a, a course before um um a few years ago how was your results versus that course with this one 
So I know obviously yeah. you're selling, you're making money already pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. as a yeah, seller. no, it wasn't, it wasn't like <laughs> for what I purchased for, we didn't get much from it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I think that one of the biggest that was super helpful with this course is that having, having like a connection or like communication with you, being able to like, not just have the course, but yeah, I'd be able to contact you and have say, like, support. you have that support. Like that's the biggest thing of like, okay, am I doing this right? What are your thoughts yeah. on this? Especially like the packages review to get like that feedback of yeah. how I can improve or, you know, change things or whatnot. So that extra support makes a huge difference because yeah. you have that support, but also have that accountability at the same time versus when it's, when you don't have that, you're kind of on your own. Then it's like, yes. if you have a question about something that doesn't make any sense and you have no one to get in contact with. I think a lot of it too, like for me, I, when I take a course, I like have support and it's like, just mm -hmm. like you said, like the accountability, but sometimes mm -hmm. like, you know, it's a confidence thing, just having mm -hmm. someone be like, go ahead and do this. Even though, you know, you mm -hmm. could do it. You just need that little nudge. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. So like well, for someone who's already done it, like with your yes. experience, you're doing it for so long. It's like, these are the fears that I have. These are my concerns. And you're like, okay, I've, you kind of already done it. So you got to yes. really know like how it's all going to end up. So right. and that was really helpful. Good. Well, the last question I have for you is what would you say to somebody who is kind of on the fence? Like maybe they're looking into content creation and they've looked into CCL and they're just kind of like hesitant for one reason or one reason or another what would you say as someone who's yeah. going through the whole program at this yeah. point and as as an experienced seller now mm -hmm. yeah I mean I would say I was right there with you like you have those fears of am I going to be able to sell is it like sometimes with some courses and the way it's 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 um, I guess market or advertise where it kind of feels like it's too good to be true. Like it can't yeah, be that totally. easy or, um, I'm not going to make money back that fast, but in this, like it really is like, it's not, it's not as complicated as like our own fears try to make it to be. Yes. And even if you have like no experience photographing, like you'll, it's her course teaches you so much about how to set it all up and how to get the right angles and how to edit. And it's just like super helpful that you'll learn everything you need to learn within those six weeks that by the time you're ready to sell, like you're going to feel confident that you'll be able to um, sell and make your money back within the first few, first few, I mean, depending how quickly you're selling or uh, yeah. how early you sell, but pretty rapidly, like it won't take you that long to get your investment back. Quickly. Yeah. Six weeks is like my goal, but I know everybody kind of works at their own pace, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's amazing. But it's attainable. Like six weeks is not unrealistic. It's no. very attainable. Um, and just doing consistent work, like you'll, you'll return your, your investment back pretty rapidly. And then you have a growing business after that as well. Right. It just so. compounds. It builds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So and it's a great course and it's a great for somebody who wants both to stay home with their families or make that extra income. Like it's amazing. So I would definitely recommend it. Thank you, Michelle. You're welcome. I love it. I love content creation. Mm -hmm. It's been like amazing to be able to yeah. be a stay home mama and be able mm -hmm. to create and have fun. And it's such a right. And they're alongside you, like watching this where my kids are. They're like alongside watching the whole thing go down yes. and they get to enjoy the food. <laughs> Totally. Money. They benefit <laughs> from it. Absolutely. Oh uh, yeah. It's a win-win for everybody. <laughs> That's right. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with me and just sharing your whole experience. And I am so excited to see what 2023 has in store for you. I know you're going to do you. amazingly well. You already are. You're thank so talented. You. Thank you. Well, thank you for the course and everything. I've just been so helpful and um, I've just been enjoyed doing, you know, completing the course and getting the business going. So thank that you. I'm so happy to hear. Yeah. Thanks for talking to me, Michelle. You have a you. wonderful day. You too. Bye.